Well, let's talk about this now with Andrew Whitehead, who is an historian, author and former BBC senior journalist. Thank you for taking the time joining us live from London today. So this isn't quite the big trade deal that some were hoping for, but it's something, right? Well, it is something, and I think that's the important point. Rishi Sunak is not returning from his first visit to the White House as Prime Minister with nothing to show for it. But the big thing about the Atlantic Declaration is what it isn't. So this is not the wide-ranging trade deal between Britain and the United States, which the Brexiteers, those who supported Britain leaving the European Union, said would be easy to achieve and would be the cornerstone for Britain's continuing economic growth and diplomatic importance. That moves towards a trade deal are dead. It's just not going to happen. It's not the direction of travel. So this Atlantic Declaration, which is a rather grand sounding title for a series of important but fairly restricted measures, it's useful. It does give Britain some access to uh, America's green economy, to the defence industry there. It's a statement of intent about economic security, but it's nothing like as important as the Atlantic Charter of the 1940s, which uh, you know, uh, led to the creation of NATO and to uh, you know, one of the most important geopolitical blocks of the last century. As you say, there's a real historical view to look at this. It's not nearly as big as what we've had in the past, clearly. Do you think that this is anything to do with Joe Biden being a little bit lukewarm towards Britain? Well, he has been a little bit lukewarm, um, particularly concerned about uh, British policy in Ireland. Uh, Joe Biden's family is of Irish descent and he's been worried about anything which destabilizes the peace deal in Northern Ireland. And I think, uh, I, I think America has decided that it's not going to hitch up with Britain uh, rather than with the EU and it's not going to reward Britain for, uh, for Brexit. But I don't think there's any underlying hostility there. I mean, the, the chemistry between Rishi Sunak and Joe Biden was quite good. It wasn't excellent, but this was really their first meeting as, as, as heads of government in the Oval Office. So I don't think there's anything there which is going to be a real impediment to um, Britain developing links to uh, Biden's America. But nevertheless, the special relationship is probably not quite as special as it was a decade ago. No, I think you're quite right. Andrew, thank you so very much indeed for offering your expertise. We appreciate it. That's Andrew Whitehead there, historian, author and former BBC senior journalist joining us here on We On Today, live from London.